When you're using the cool boy with the forklift hook attachment, uh, we also supply this separate lifting arm, which has got a panel protection plate uh, with it. And to use this, you need to attach this to the cool boy. So it's got a locking cam, let me show you that here, which is this plate here, which can lock in position and you can pull the pin and rotate it back. So to fit this to the cool boy, the cam needs to be in that position. And it slides through the lifting arm and then rotate the cam. Okay, a little bit fiddly there. The cam's rotating, it's locked into the lifting eye now. And obviously to remove that, you pull the pin and rotate the cam back again. You can remove the lifting arm. So I'll pop it back in there. And the main feature of this lifting arm, it moves the lifting point uh, closer to the panel, so the panel will hang better but it also incorporates this panel safety plate, protection plate. I'll just show you that in a moment. Down. Okay. So, the machine can be suspended from there, but as you see, this plate prevents the tip of the forklift hook attachment hitting the panel. So it will, it will uh, contact this plate before it contacts the panel and the plate has some foam pads behind to protect the panel surface. So that's the role of the uh, separate lifting arm which is always used when you're suspending the cool boy from the forklift hook attachment. Okay, so just a final few points about the cool boy. Uh, with every machine we deliver to site there will be an instruction manual. In the instruction manual you'll find the Lola certificate You'll also find various uh, details about wind speed limits, uh, a few do's and don'ts about the machine, really just repeating what I've told you on these videos. There will also be some suggestions for daily checklists in there. And the final thing I want to show is this water uh, tank, this drain of water that may be accumulating the machine. So if Neil just lifts the machine up, I'll show you how you do that. So at the end of the working day, when you finish with the machine, as I mentioned earlier, you need to switch the machine off. As you switch it off, the voltmeter will drop away, uh, and the machine goes off. At that point, you can put the machine on charge. And if you've been lifted in wet conditions, you need to drain the two vacuum tanks. And you'll see under here, there are two drain valves, one at either side. Now it's a little bit fiddly here, but what you do, you pull a pin on the side of the machine. I'll show you that again, Neil will do that. There's a pin there. Pull the pin and rotate the valve like that. Let any water in the vacuum tanks drain out and then simply rotate the valve and close it again. You do the same on both sides of the machine. Don't forget to close the valve once you've drained it. You won't find a lot of water accumulating there but obviously you may get some if you've been operating in wet conditions. So that's essentially the Cool Boy uh, panel lifter. Any questions you may have at any stage, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you for watching these videos.